Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's been just over a week since I last recorded this game or any game, so um, I'm thinking I'm going to do like a quick recap of the things that happened in the last week in roughly the order they happened because I have been playing this game every day all week. I just didn't really have an opportunity to record until now, so... I have launched the game up already and I've taken us to the first thing, which is, you might recall from my previous video that I had a shop construction kit done. Uh, if we now go into the game, you can see the shop is here. Uh, Nook's Cranny, you've got, uh, you've got, uh, <laughs> there. You've got this sign here, which is a hot item thing. Coconut juice, basically that's the same as in New Leaf, one item per day will sell for double its normal cost. Uh, so it's usually a crafted item in this game, by the looks of things, whereas in New Leaf you didn't really craft stuff much, so that wasn't a major thing. Um, you've also got, uh, let's just go inside, have a quick look, so I can show off what we've got to look at. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hi, Timmy. Uh, they say that only the first time you come in for the day, I believe, and then they, you know, assume that you already know what's going on. Uh, so you've got two items out here. These are renewable. If you buy them, they will still be there for other people to come and buy if someone visits your town or if you want more than one. These, there's only one per day. So when you buy one of these, like say, uh, this wall-mounted tool board, like so, it will be sold out. Uh, I believe in previous games all of the items here would be sold out after one purchase. Um, but yeah, in this one you've got limited supply items and you've got unlimited supply items. You've also got this uh, cabinet over here which gives you a variety of other things you can buy. You can buy the flimsy tools, you can get various umbrellas. It's a different umbrella style each day. Uh, you can get different kinds of flowers and stuff, uh, wrapping paper, you can get some DIY, DIY recipes. I already have all of these. Uh, you can also get uh, wallpaper and stuff here if you want it. But I think I already have most of this as well so yeah. Um, that, that's pretty much the shop. You can sell things inside by talking to them. You can also sell things outside. Uh, if the shop is closed, for example, you can still sell things, which is good because it does close. Um, but it's not as good to sell things that way. You use this box here. Uh, drop-off box, you see? Uh, I'll just go into how does this work. How to use the drop-off box. Drop-off items to sell at any time. Just place your items inside the box. Pay Payment will be deposited into your book Bank of Nook account the next day. Items are bought at 80% of their shop trade-in value due to handling fees. We cannot return any items placed inside the drop-off box. We can only trade turnips and give full price for hot items inside the store. So yeah, um, basically when the store is closed you can sell things but you won't get paid full price and also you have to wait for the next day to get the money. In my opinion it should just be one of those, like you have to wait till the next day or it's not full price rather than having both of those limitations because that seems overly punitive to me, but that's how it is. Um, anyway, that's the shop, that's the first thing. Let me just grab this fossil. That's not a fossil. Uh, I, I guess it's April now, so uh, Easter is starting or Bunny Day as they call it because Easter is a religious thing. So I guess I can give, dig up eggs now. Also fossils, there we go. Um, that's only started today, that's not part of the recap, so I'm not familiar with that yet. Uh, the next thing, I'm just going to grab my vaulting pole here. Uh, Tom Nook asked me to build three, basically, houses. He got me to put out three locations uh, in the town somewhere. The first one I did was over here. Uh, you had to get three items to put inside the house and three items to put outside. So I made these three pieces of furniture and also three pieces inside the house. So we'll just head in and have a look. And you had to do like all six of those and then it was considered a complete site and then someone could move in and live there. Uh, I had to make, I think, the stereo and what else? I know the stereo was one of them. What were the others? I think maybe she got rid of the others. That's a bit rude. <laughs> uh, if you talk to someone while they're working on a DIY item, they will give you the recipe. So I'm doing that. Right now, Mag loves in love. It's about trains in love. One of them, hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Mag love Mike with our relationship off the rails because I'm building a thing. Hey, Danielle, do you want to know how to make a giant teddy bear too? Yes, please. I'm going to be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. So I write down all my recipes. Here you go. 
So yeah, um, whenever you go into someone's house and see them working on something, you want to talk to them. Oh my gosh, Ducky, it's so way easy. You'll slap one together in no time, Danielle. Because they will give you a new recipe for whatever that thing is. Uh, slow my giant teddy bear. Huh? Okay. Sweet, Ellen Dale recipe for a giant teddy bear. So after I placed uh, the, the plot... Well, after I got this house set up, Tom Nook called me and said, Hey, are you finding any good places to put houses? You might try on top of the cliffs. And of course, I couldn't get on top of the cliffs, so he told me how to make a ladder. So now I have a ladder. <laughs> Basically, the ladder, you equip it, it's like, like the vaulting pole, you just go to a place you couldn't go, and you just press A and climb up or climb down. Uh, like the vaulting pole, it can't actually break, so that's good. Uh, I put my second plot over here, and this cat lives in it now. Hello, kitty. So happy to see you, Bonbon. What's the latest? I'm glad for weather like this that's perfect for air drying my laundry. Oh, good for you. Uh, yeah, so those, those three pieces of furniture, you can see them outside here. I'm just gonna squidge back here, because there's some weeds back here that I want to get. Do, 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 squidge. Um, we can't go inside because Lolly's not inside, so we'll just leave that for now. Uh, oh, hello. I will dig that up. There was one more plot that I had to set up, which I will show you in a moment. Once I bury 10,000 bells over here. And then I can go on with the next bit of the recap. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Um, I, I thought, you know, because I've been playing the game a lot, I may as well cover what you missed as a little first step. So yeah, the third house I set up is over this way. That's a tiger beetle, don't need that. Might need, might need whatever's in there. It could be an egg or it could be a fossil. It's an egg! <laughs> wonder if eggs stack. That would be good. Uh, I don't know what they're for yet, so... Ah, here we are. It's Sherb. Sherb lives in this house here. Hello, Sherb. Yay! Are you out for a walk? Let's talk. I wonder if something fun will happen today. It could. Any old second. Any time now. I'm so excited. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so that wraps up those three. Uh, once we've done that, uh, resident services, like, actually, wait, once these three people arrived, which took a few more days, the resident services tent decided to close. Uh, I'll show you why momentarily, because we're going to go over to resident services, and you'll see that it looks a little different. Uh, it closed for one day, uh, which is annoying, but it didn't reset the Nook Stop seven day streak thing. Instead, it actually sets it all the way to, to maximum, up to seven days total, regardless of what you had it at before. Which is quite nice of them. Uh, since otherwise it would break the streak because you can't get to the Nook Stop machine. Uh, and that would be bad. Do, 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 do. Well, let's vault. Phew. Okay, here's resident services. As you can see, it looks quite different. So yeah, they closed it for a day and then they built a town hall here. Um, and you can go into the town hall if you like. And inside you will find... A loading screen. <laughs> Isabel! Ah, Danielle. Hello, hello. Isabel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but... Today we have our first guest over at the campsite. Oh, spoilers. I haven't told you about the campsite yet. Danielle, if you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check in our guest. And if you get an opening, try talking them into moving to Cantalot. The bright future of this island depends on you, Danielle. I have faith in you. Yes, yes. Okay, so you've got, still got the recycling bin over here as normal. Uh, and you've got Tom Nook over here. You can talk to him about, you know, the same sort of stuff, construction stuff. Uh, get him to move your house. He can move other people's houses as well. Uh, once you get to this stage, you can go infrastructure and tell him that you would like to move anything, any building you've placed somewhere else, basically. Which is pretty cool. Um, so that's neat. Uh, I can also move my house, or I can upgrade it, change the outside by talking to Tom Nook. Pretty cool. Uh, the crafting table is still here. I've noticed some people weren't sure if it was still available once the upgrade happened, but it is. You can still use it just there. Uh, you can also talk to Isabel, of course, because she's here now. Hi, sweetie. Uh, and she lets you change the island tune, island flag, and kick out residents, basically. <laughs> so I have changed the tune, it's now the uh, My Little Pony Le Motif. And the flag is now saying trans rights. 
Uh, this machine is roughly the same as before. It's got a few more options. Uh, we just get the bonus miles, there we go. Uh, you can redeem, and you can see there's a lot more options now. Uh, we get fences. Uh, that changes every day which two fences are available. You also have this list of other stuff. Uh, those don't change, and you can just get some furniture directly, and that also doesn't change. Uh, you can also get a bell voucher now, which basically exchanges uh, 500 nook miles for 3,000 bells. Uh, which is neat. Uh, I'm gonna get these two fences. Oh, I won't get that one because I already have it. Uh, apparently it doesn't make sure you get new ones. Imperial fence? Yep, there we go. You can get one that you've already got because you might want to give it to someone else on multiplayer or whatever, I suppose. What a waste of a PowerPoint back there. There's two back there and the other one's not being used. What a shame. Um, that's, I guess, the basics of that. Let me just learn that new recipe. There we go. Uh, once you've upgraded to the real town hall instead of the little tent, you also get one more recipe for expanding your pockets. You can say I have four rows now, which is great. Uh, way better than having three rows. <laughs> um, I think that's the last upgrade available. It might go to five later on, but I haven't seen that yet, so maybe not. Uh, yeah, you can see my flag has a cute Sylveon on it now. Saying trans rights, pretty great. Um... Pretty excellent. Uh, fishing. Hmm, there might be some background noise. Sorry about that. Not much I can do. Uh, anyway, once uh, once we built the town hall, we also got the Able Sisters over here. It's a separate thing. I think you can do them in either order, but I got the town hall first. So, yeah, we can go to the Able Sisters now. And we can buy clothes if you wish, which is pretty cool. Hi, Mabel. Uh, so they have featured items out here. So basically you can see some of the stuff they're selling today out here back here There's custom designs. You can use this uh, Kiosk here to share designs on the on the internet Weirdly it gives both your design profile and each design you put up a 12 digit code Even though you already have a friend code. I Don't understand Nintendo's fascination with 12 digit codes. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Hi Sable. If you need something, could you talk to the other hedgehog, please? Mm. With Sable, you, you, this is a thing in most Animal Crossings. You talk to Sable every day for a while, and eventually it, it kicks up a friendship, but she doesn't like you for a while. Anyway, um, so you've got your basic featured items here, but you can also go over here to the fitting room. Oh, do you need the fitting room? Go right ahead. And when you go into the fitting room, you get the full catalogue. So they have different colours of everything that's featured, and some other stuff you can buy, and other clothes, and you can go by category, so we've got tops and bottoms, uh, we get maybe a skirt, there we go, and yeah, you can just make a full outfit of whatever you want to wear, uh, oh, those are cute, I like those, uh, I'll keep my glasses on, and yeah, you can, you got a lot of options for clothes, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's... Hmm, I'm not sure I like that. I like that, I like that. And yeah, you just go plus, you make your purchase. It says, do you want to wear what you picked out? You go, yeah. And there we go. You, if you pick no... Looking sharp, thanks so much. I'll go ahead and ship what you were wearing before directly to your storage at home. So yeah, you don't have to worry about filling up your inventory. Whatever you were wearing before gets sent to storage, or if you don't put on what you've picked out, then what you picked out goes to storage. Thanks, please come again. There we go. Uh, so the next thing after that is uh, Tom asked me to place a campsite so that we can get more visitors to the town. Uh, and the campsite is down here. Uh, let me just get this money. <laughs> Catching. It's already been mentioned, so spoilers, but the campsite is down here. There was one in New Leaf as well, um, and it worked pretty much the same way. Like, some days a tent would appear, some days it wouldn't, and you could just go in and talk to the visitor. Uh, I believe there's a way to use Amiibo to make visitors happen, but I haven't unlocked that yet. Oh, I know you, it's Colton. Buon buongiorno? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. The name's Colton. Glad to say I'm the first one using this campsite. And you live on this island, don't you? 
I figured. Yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really going to enjoy having me here. It's got a donut. <laughs> Check it, this island is so great. What makes it so great? Well, I'm glad I asked myself. It's the fun and the sun, the weather and the wind, the local cherries and the surfing scene. It almost kind of makes me think about moving here. You should live here. Wow, I'm honoured. An exclusive invitation to an exclusive island of celebrities and entourages. Yeah, that strikes me as weird. I've heard, I've heard that this happens. The first visitor, you can't say don't move here. You have to pick either you should live here or move here. It's a weird thing to do, given how much like flexibility this game normally gives you regarding who's on the island and how it's set up. There's just one little thing. I'd hate to be for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go check with like the VIP manager of the whole island first, just so I know this is legit? Leave it to me. Guten Tag. <laughs> My fate is in your hands. Ha ha. Okay, I guess I go talk to Tom. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that before, so that's not part of the recap. That's a new thing. Uh, uh, also, once you get the town hall, there'll be one Nook Miles task that's worth five times, as you can see. Uh, not every day though. Sometimes it just gives you the normal two times ones. I'm not sure why that is. You'd think it would be consistent, but it's not. Oh, there's a bag worm. I caught a bag worm. Guess I'm a bag worm. <laughs> yeah, I want to chop some wood, so just grab a little stone axe. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Picky up, picky up, picky up. That's nine. I need to chop ten, so I guess one more tree. Oh, there's an egg in that one. All right. <laughs> Is there a different kind of egg? Yeah, wood egg. Okay, I don't know what these are for yet, but it looks like we're getting different types based on where we get them from. Interesting. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Look, Miles. Kaching. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at at this point. Um, I think I've recapped all that need be recapped. <laughs> There's the museum, it's still... Oh! Oh, hello, Zipper! Why, hippity-skippity, hoppity-ho, now that you've found me, I'll say a warm hello! I'm a lucky old bunny, yippity yipper, and here's a little tip. You can call me Zipper. Yeah, I know your name, Zipper. Yay! You can clap now. No, really, go on. Well, well, isn't this swell? Here you are, and here I am to tell you all about my favourite holiday. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a costume, and don't you go snooping, got it? Zippity zap, enough of that. It's almost bunny day! Hop hop hooray! That's my favourite time to come out and play. Ugh, I've got so much prep work to do. Hope you can keep yourself busy. And guess what? This funny bunny has a bunny day secret just for you. Ready? Yippity skippity, here it is. The time has come. Let's look for eggs. That's my bunny plan. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Find them if you can. Did I make myself clear? Yes? No? Maybe so? Hmm, how about this? There are six types of eggs hidden around the island, you see. So wonderful old you should look for them. Go look for them and bring them back to wonderful old me. These eggs aren't hidden inside buildings, no siree. Eggs can only be found in the great outdoors. Check the trees, check the rocks, check the water too. Search the sky, search the ground, that's what you should do. And here's a little something I made for you too. Oh, a recipe. That's a recipe for a bunny day bed. You can craft it with the eggs you find. And now, a big announcement. I sure hope you like this. I've hidden bunny day themed DIY recipes all around the island. The closer we get to bunny day, the more recipes I'll hide. If you find and craft all the DIY recipes I've hidden, why, you'll get a supery dupery present from me. Zippity skippity hoppity hey. It's gonna be the wonderfully wonderfulest bunny day. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for explaining the whole situation. <laughs> well, I saw these eggs, I might as well grab them. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, also, I'm guessing that'll have an egg in it because it's got the eggy looking balloon. Pop! Ba -ba 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 oh no, it's a recipe. Bunny Day Stool. Huh, okay. Sweet! I'm a DIY recipe for a Bunny Day Stool. Bunny Day Bed. Huh, okay. Sweet! I'm a DIY recipe for a Bunny Day Bed. Let's hit some rocks with a shovel. Oh yeah, apparently rock um, shuffles cannot break uh, while they're doing this. The, like, hitting a rock eight times thing. Which is good, because that would be really annoying otherwise. Uh, they can break, you know, if you hit a rock and it doesn't give you anything, or if you're done hitting a rock, but they can't break during the timer, which is very helpful. Uh, what do we got in my mailbox? Uh, oh right, I bought the, and the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I got interest of 725 bells. Great. <laughs> uh, KK Disco. Uh, the new Switch. There we go. Let's go inside and store some stuff. So yeah, the ACNH Nintendo Switch, it's, um, like the one they released in real life that has Animal Crossing themed, um, Joy-Cons and, and the dock. It's pretty adorable. Uh, I'm gonna store some of this stuff. Put in storage. Put in storage. Put in storage. Uh, keep those out. Let's put out the switch so you can have a look at it. Boop. There you go. Doesn't seem to do much of anything, but it's cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, and also put this song into my skull over here. <laughs> oh yeah, I bought this from the from the Nook shop. That's right. Um, the the Nooklings sold it, and just like in previous games, you register songs and they go into all your music players that can play music. This is the only one I have though, so I'll put some in the other rooms once I get some more. Uh, I could I could order more of that one because I bought it, but eh. I'm gonna wait for some others. Okay, so I think we've pretty much recapped everything that I can think of. Hmm. Um, I forget if I covered customization before. I I think I might have done, but basically you can use. These things, customization kits, to do things like change the color of items. You can see my shovel is green. Um, it's a good idea to do that with the tools because when you do it, it resets them to full health. Uh, so you can customize a tool every now and then rather than make a fresh one. Uh, which is a lot more efficient in terms of resources. Uh, although you need to buy some customization kits to do it. But they're not very expensive, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> So if I go fishing, like he mentioned that there were fish, in, there, were, there were eggs in the water. Will I catch like an egg instead of a fish, or, or will I mess up the timing because I'm bad at video games? It's the it's the vibration in the controller that throws me off because I'm I'm not used to that happening. Um, because New Leaf, you know, on the 3DS, 3DS doesn't have any vibration. Whereas this one has HD rumble. Um, oddly enough, uh, Pocket Camp doesn't have vibration either, at least not when you're fishing. It could, because phones have vibration, but it doesn't. I should probably check what, how many of each kind of egg I actually need to craft the things I've been finding recipes for. <laughs> Also, I guess there'll be, like, little winged eggs flying around? I don't know. Because I assume there's some you can get with a net, but I don't know what they're going to look like. Hang on, there's something walking around on that plant. Oh no, I scared it! Uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't caught one of those yet, so I do want that. I don't know what it is, though. Uh, there's another fossil. Fossils don't stack, so that's going to take up a few slots. But I probably have enough slots to spare, honestly. 
Haven't found the money rock of the day yet. Uh... Oh, this one's got lots of iron in it. Nice. Also eggs, of course. If I make good use of the eggs patterning... Oh, I've got some DIY recipe ideas. Okay, so I get some ideas just from picking up the eggs. Uh, that does sometimes happen when you get an item, you think of something to do with it. Uh, I noticed fishing up a lot of garbage that it, you get ideas for how to recycle it into different things, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I think I may, maybe I recorded one of those already, but there's actually quite a few items that work that way. Oh, also this. Uh, I might have shown this already, but every day you get a message bottle to someone out there somewhere. I was just zoning out in the bathtub when a great DIY idea popped into my head that I had to write down. I just had to share it, so I stuffed it into a bottle and floated it to you. It's so easy. Anyone can do this. Wishing you luck. Cyrano. Pretty tulip wreath. Huh, okay. Sweet, I want a DIY recipe for a pretty tulip wreath. Uh, I don't think I have any tulips, so I don't think I can make that, but I'll keep it in mind. Yep, that's an egg, not a fish. What should I do with it? <laughs> yep, water egg. I had a feeling that might happen. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, that's actually a fish. That is a zebra turkey fish. Got plenty of those already. You can't customize some of your tools, which is annoying. The ladder and um, vaulting pole can't be customized, which doesn't matter too much because they can't break. But also the axe can't be customized, and it can break, so that's pretty annoying. Got to make new axes a lot, whereas most of the other tools you can renew them if you happen to break one. Not if you happen to break one, if you think you're going to break one soon. I do wish there was a way to check how damaged your tools are in this game. Um, because yeah, tools in previous Animal Crossings, like in New Leaf for example, you could only break the axe anyway, and when you use the axe its icon in, in the menu like got more damage, so you could tell how close it was to breaking. Like, not exactly, you wouldn't know like, I have three swings left, but you had a good idea. Whereas here you just, you just got no idea. Hmm. Down the ladder. I really like the ladders. I think that's pretty great. Uh, you can like build ramps. Uh, I believe if I talk to Nook, I can ask for a ramp to be placed. The same way I can ask for bridges. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. I probably should. Tree branch in pockets. It's a lot of money in the trees today. More than usual. <laughs> vaulting pole. I kind of wish the vaulting pole and ladder would like automatically apply or something. Like when you go like this, it would just flip your vaulting pole automatically rather than having to equip it. Because unlike the other tools, they, they could just work contextually. Whereas the other tools, it makes sense to have to equip them because you can use them more or less anywhere. Mm, I don't know. Alright, so I already did that one. Unfortunately, hitting a rock that you've already, like, hit does use up durability, so you do want to be a bit careful. Uh... Hello. I've been great. Do you want to chat? Muscle madness. Whew, I heard shouting is a great way to work the abs. I also heard my neighbors were complaining. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Is that just a Dana dragonfly? Yeah, it is. 
You want banded dragonfly, but they're much harder to catch. They're worth a lot more, but they're a lot faster. And they're visibly a little bit bigger, so you can tell the difference. I still haven't found the rest of today's fossils, which is interesting. I wonder where they are. Oh, hello. Yo, you know, what's the word? Let's talk. I think I left my walking stick at my last place, you know? It's not like I used it much, but still. Can I make you a walking stick? I don't think so, I don't have a recipe. Oh, oh, I haven't got one of those yet. Yes! I caught a ladybug. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's also weirdly gendered, but I mean, that's the name of the critter, so whatever. Here's the money rock. Catching. It's interesting that you just want to hit every rock with a shovel in this game, unlike in the previous ones, where you're just looking for the money rock. It's a strange sort of change in focus. <laughs> yeah, I keep changing the colours of things in order to renew them, so... I usually go for purple, but when they're already purple, you can't customise them to purple again, so... Gotta make him something else. I call it tilapia. Oh, there's another tree with eggs in it. Let's get them. I wonder how many I can carry. How'd you get over here? All oh, right, there's a bridge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do. Interesting. The bunny day starts at the beginning of April rather than just being on bunny day. I believe in previous games it is just the one day, but I guess in this one they wanted to spread it out a bit. Kind of like in, um, Pocket Camp, actually. Hmm. What did I just get? Is this another recipe? Or is it something else? It is another recipe. Bunny Day Table. Huh, okay. Sweet, I want a DIY recipe for a Bunny Day Table. My inventory is getting a bit full, so I should probably sell some of this junk. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Um, I'm in about 30 minutes. I think I don't want to go on too much longer. I basically just wanted to recap the things that have happened in game since my last video. Um, just a decent amount of stuff. Uh, dragonfly. Uh, I'll sell the 33 branches. Keep the 10. Sell the bagworm. Sell that. Uh, sell the 30 stones. Sell that. I want to keep all the eggs and stuff. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Okay, so get yeah, tree branches go over here, and stones go over there. And I'll put the fossils down the bottom here, and I'll go donate that uh, ladybug. And I think that'll be a video once I've donated the ladybug. If that's cool. Not that I, I will know if that's cool because you can't talk to me because I'm, I'm pre-recording a video. And yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we got something. Hang on. Nook Miles. DIY projects. I suppose I can have a quick look at the DIY projects before we go. I do want to see um, how many eggs you actually need to make these bunny day things. So yeah, I, I will have a quick look. I'll donate here, then I'll, I'll go back to my house and check the crafting table. Here, Lord Blathers. Who? Who? Oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Danielle. Welcome to the Canterlot Museum. How may I be of service? Make a donation. Marvellous, what would you like to donate? Uh, this ladybug, thank you. Here you go. Eek, a ladybug. What a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? I would, actually. I'm sorry. Ah, I see. In that case, hem. Yes, yes, ladybugs are quite beloved thanks to their tiny round shape and adorable spots. To that I say, bah. The fact of the matter is, some have stripes instead of spots, and some have no markings at all. 
No, I shall never understand why it is said that when a ladybug lands on you, you'll have good luck. I should only have a fainting spell. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, thank you. I still need to find the other two fossils. Do 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 Okay, let's have a quick look at those recipes. I, I just want to know basically how much of each thing I need to actually make these things. So just take a quick peek. I should probably plant that actually, rather than hang on to it. Oops. Beep. That's craft. Uh... Well, I have a lot of garbage. <laughs> garbage heap flooring, garbage heap wall, trash bags. <laughs> Giant teddy bear, pretty tulip wreath. There we are. Bunny day stool. Takes three water eggs. Uh, bunny day table, four earth eggs. Bunny day bed takes one of each kind, I think. Yes, one of each kind. A stone egg shell takes two stone eggs. Stone egg outfit takes three stone eggs. Stone egg shoes take two stone eggs. Okay, so... It's sort of all over the place. You just want to get as many of each as you can. I could probably make uh, maybe the outfit. I think that's a hat. Oh no, maybe it's not a hat. Uh, I think it's a hat. Two, that leaves five. Three, that leaves two. Yeah, I have enough to exactly make this outfit. So I think I will, so we can have a look at it. Uh, and then that's it for the video. Uh, you can actually speed up crafting a little bit if you start crafting something and then you mash the A button. There we go. Makes you craft very quickly. <laughs> okay, so we've made the outfit. Let me just jump in here. Boop. Ah, I was hoping the next one would be the wardrobe one, because I just get changed using the wardrobe. Oh, I do want to demonstrate that, actually. So, yeah, this wardrobe... Uh, going to any wardrobe, or... Actually, no, I'll do it with the other one, because it's funnier. Going to, basically, a cupboard of some kind, regardless of whether it's a wardrobe, or... For example, a refrigerator, allows you to change your clothes. <laughs> and it gives you a menu here, which is similar to the one we saw at the Able Sisters. So you can just put clothes on, like so, and just tweak your outfit as you wish, and then you just go boop, and you're wearing a new outfit. And it automatically puts the stuff you were wearing back in your storage. Uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Do Okay, so yeah, this is how I look with these on. Uh, I can't say I'm a huge fan, <laughs> but I mean I made them now, so that's part of, part of the whole Bunny Day experience, I guess. I'm going to put something else on, though. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot more options now, because uh, I've been buying up stuff. Maybe I'll lose the hat. Uh, just put one of these in my hair. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Do, 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 do. Guess that's the color I'm going for today. I've been changing my hair color every day because you can in this game for free. Uh, you could change your hair color like very regularly in New Leaf, but you had to pay the uh, shampoo doll to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it for this video, I suppose. Uh, next time, I, I don't know, I might make another video soon, or it might be a while, and I'll need to recap again. We'll see how we go. Uh, oh yeah, I have a bathroom over here. With a, with a scenic view. So you can go to the bathroom and look out the window. 
I just thought it was funny. Oh, uh, one odd thing. Uh, there's a window on this side. There's no window on this side. Like, if I turn the camera around, you can see no window on that side. But if you go outside, which takes a little while because there's a few rooms of change and the loading is a little slow. Yeah, if you go outside, you can see that on the outside of the house, there is actually a window on that side. Right there. And that's weird because it doesn't exist according to the inside. Eh, it's, it's, it's a bit strange. Eh, doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.